first part of the process for the main engines is closing the seacock that you see right here. And then from there, we basically disconnect the raw water hose that was connected here and basically use a hose barb fitting reduced to the size of our Porter Flush Junior to be able to connect our hoses. Here we can see we're pulling out the impeller for the main engine to, uh, to allow flow to go through the system. Once the impeller has been removed, we're going to add the cap back in to make sure flow stays in there. Okay, next part of the process is to disconnect the overboard discharge hose that would normally be connected here, as you can see, and use a reducing fitting so you can go down to the size of the Porter Flush Junior. We basically disconnected this hose from this fitting right here, which is a shaft seal, and allows the seal to be cooled by the raw water for the main engine. Okay, now that we've uh, set up our connection, we're going to connect our hoses from the, port of the supply side of the Porta Flush Junior. And connect that to the supply side of our system, in this case, which is this hose right here. Supply side of the system connected. We're going to connect the overboard discharge system. And we're going to connect that to the overboard discharge, which is over here. Okay. All right, now we're going to start putting water. All right, now we're barnacle buster to the system. Here we're going to disconnect our return line from the Porta Flush Junior. Now that we're done with the flush and we have fresh water everywhere, we can disconnect our hoses, let the water go in the bilge. Disconnect. We're going to disconnect the fittings and reconnect the hose back on the hose barb fitting that goes right here. Once this is removed, this hose is going to get connected back over here so that we have a closed loop again. And the next part is to reconnect the impeller, put the impeller back into its casing and close the casing back up. Once that's done, we can reopen the uh, seacock and the, boat, and the engine is ready to go again.